is I went and got a group full of women and wanted to totally get their perspective. And I came to this point and I said, thoughtful acts. What does your husband do or what would your potential husband do that would be very thoughtful and romantic and be a big blessing to you, okay? I'm a guy. I'm thinking he brings home flowers, he brings home chocolate. And that's, you know, that's kind of how I've been trained to think. Not a person said anything like that. Every woman there said, oh, like if he'd help fold the clothes, okay? If, if he'd like help with the dishes, if he'd help get the kids ready for bed. That's like, I'm like, that's romantic. Oh, that's so romantic. Why? Because he's serving her. He's thinking of her. That's a thoughtful act that is more romantic than just dropping a few dollars on something and saying, I care about you. And when they said it, like, it clicked with me. I thought, yeah, I love it when Amy serves me in this particular way. Um, when we got married, I realized that one of our differences is I like to have the bed made before getting back into it. And Amy's entirely practical. She's like, well, if nobody's coming over, then why would we make the bed when we're gonna mess it up again? And if you, even if you got the throw pillows, I know I'm losing cool points with some guys, but if the pillows are on there in the right place and you slip into clean, cool sheets with no wrinkles, ooh, okay. And so I would like make the bed. The problem is I wouldn't do it right because evidently I don't do much right when it comes to that kind of thing. And, and so there's like this, no, nah, no. Nah. And one day Amy said, you know what? I know this means a lot to you. I'll make the bed. And so every night when I get in the bed, in my mind, consciously or subconsciously, I'm kind of remembering. She did that for me. She didn't care about it. There's nobody that came and looked in our bedroom today. At least that's what I'm hoping nobody did. <laughs> and it's, there's, no, there's no show. It's just she did something that she doesn't value because she values me. Amen. And I like that. That makes me feel special. If you want something different in your relationship, don't demand your spouse be what's different. You be what's different and be a blessing as you serve your spouse as Christ served the church. Your marriage can be as good as both of you want it to be. If both of you want to serve Christ, and to serve one another, you, you can experience the blessings that are greater, greater than anything you could imagine, but it's not gonna happen by accident. You're not just gonna, oh, I didn't mean to, and we were just happy and love each other. It's gonna take some intentionality. It's gonna take seeking God and surrendering to his will.